Kibble for das. Get tired, a bit hungry. Ready? Engage. Ready? Yeah. Go on. Back, 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 back. Engage. Is that yummy? All right, ready, steady, go. Now then, if we're going posh today, you've got to have your brows done because they're a bit fly away, aren't they? What have you been doing with them? Got this beard. Yeah. Have a piece. This one. Yeah. Mm. Good luck. Now sadly, yeah right, you're not gonna escape because you're just as bad. Look at these brows. Yeah. I know. Oh, that's it. This is grin. this look. Hmm? This is grin. Yeah I know. Look at that look. Huh? Yeah go on then. Come on then. Where's your sister? Where is she? Hmm? I reckon I'll know where to find her. What are you doing in there, dude? We are going out in the car, but you need to have your harness on first and we need to strap you in. What are you shaking for? Now we're good to go because you've got your harness on and that will all become apparent why that's so important in a moment. How are you doing in the back? You all right? Should we go? Let's go. Oh, by the way, OCD lovers will notice I've changed my sticker from blue to red. I think it looks a little bit better with the red detailing on the car. Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped. And you're probably thinking, what on earth is going on? Well, today, me and the Petrol Pup and the Petrol Pooch are off to an event with Mini UK and the Dogs Trust. We're actually heading off to Basildon in Essex, so it's uh, just over 100 miles, a couple of hours worth of driving. And my understanding of the event is, it's a workshop around how to best transport dogs in cars. And obviously there's a really good crossover. I have two dogs and I'm a car channel and I take my dogs with me most places we go if we can. Now um, at the moment the dogs are in the front of the car because we're kind of going somewhere and they're clean. They are harnessed in. I always make sure that I harness my dogs in with these little straps. Whenever I've got a video going with the dogs by the way people often say where do you get your harnesses from? They're uh, I think they're called Easy Dog and I just got them from like Pets at Home or something. They weren't massively expensive. The harness and this little strap about 15 pounds for a small dog size like a miniature schnauzer and Darcy's in the back and she's strapped in too we'll probably get this clarified later today but I'm pretty sure in the UK anyway um, if you get uh, stopped by the police and you have a, a loose dog in the car then I'm pretty sure it's a three penalty point um, uh, and and there's a fine as well so it's it's not a good thing at all if we were going on a walk and they were muddy we've got a line boot and they go in the boot but when we're on our way we'll normally have them in the car because they do love coming in the car this one has a bit of a um, history of being sick in the car although famous last words she hasn't done that for a while 
It was more when she was a puppy. She is three next week. Can you believe it? I just can't believe it. Seems like yesterday we actually collected her. Um, but yes, so we're on our way to Basildon, Essex. I know my good mate, Steph, ABTV, and his dog, Rolo, is going to be there. And I can't wait to see who else is, uh, is going. Um, the interesting thing is all the other people going have been sent a nice new Mini Clubman to drive to the event in and Millie said well you've got a really nice mini clubman can you bring yours so I'm in Charlie Clubman so next stop is Basildon in Essex what do you want, girls you want to have sleep I got them up really early fed them so that they had a bit of time to let their breakfast go down and then I think we've got plenty of play time today so it should be a good day yeah what's it coming to when your dogs become influencers as well I mean seriously Hey girls, we are a mile away. <laughs> and no vomit. Well done. Yeah, maybe you've grown out of it. Because you're three next week. Maybe, maybe you've like stopped being sick in the car. This is good. We might find out a little bit about that today though. And our little workshop. So yes, we are very, very close. And I can't wait to see who else is there. So looking forward to seeing my mate Steph, I haven't seen him for ages, and meeting Rolo because I've not actually met his dog. Steph met you, hasn't he? And Joe. But you need to play with Steph's dog, yeah. Exiting average speed enforcement zone. Thanks, Waze. Uh, Paw Patrol has been removed from Waze, which actually was a, a, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, I should have left it on for today. <laughs> but here we go. So this is, we're in Basildon in Essex. I don't know whether this is the Dogs Trust HQ, but it's certainly a big facility. I can see it just on the left there. So let's rock up and see who's here. Oh. Hey! Hello. Hello, mate. How are you? I'm very well. I've been a chauffeur today. I've got. Uh, oh. I've got Hello, dude. Hey. Yeah. Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> Oh, should be great fun. That's good. I tell you what, these are pretty good. They're nice. I can see why you like them. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. It just Here reminds me of going to Bruges. Yes, that was a good time. Best like trip. That. Best trip. <laughs> Let me park up. So we're here. We've got other dogs over there. <laughs> We've got a mad dog having some exercise over there. <laughs> Who wants just wants to play? And my two are in here. We're all right. We're getting. We're going to get out now. Ready? Hello. Hello mate. We're at Dogs Trust, surrounded by dogs. So this is one of the, the best things ever. It's really nice to actually be the person who is like support act to the like, main, the main well, person. Hold on, I'm getting to it. So it's G from uh, Mini just looking after the two. Wild ones. Yeah. Rollo. Yeah. Darcy. Darcy. And then we've got... This is the best dog name in the world. Bacon. Oh, I love that name. <laughs> the best behaved dog And then the we've world. got... Who else have we got around here? Oh, got some great dogs. Hello. Who's this dog? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have lick face. So yeah, we're not quite sure what we've got in store for us today. But we're here. <laughs> I think everybody's arrived. Um, and uh, we're going to go inside in a minute and do some stuff with the dogs. But today is all about the dogs, not about us. <laughs> Which is cool. And trying not to trip over leads. Oh, it's so lovely. She had a bit of a walk around the grounds. No, oh, you're having a drink? That's not your bowl, never mind. But yeah, we've each got our own little booth. Are you um, having a few dog control issues there, mate? No, nothing I can't handle. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dudes, this way. This is our one. In here, look. Oh, look, there, look, we've got. Look, there's some water. There's a mini bowl. Look, yeah. That's a good girl. So nice. You can have some water? No? Drink? Look. This, this looks daunting. We have a pen, treats, and a mini bowl. What do you reckon, dude? How's it going, mate? Yeah, it's going. I'll get really warm now. So this is Rolo, look. Look, you see? It's the star of Step ABTV. I know, I know. Rolo <laughs> meets the petrol pups. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening here? There's so much going on. Hey, hello. Oh, God. Like 15 kilograms is lugging me along. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my, if you added my two dogs together, they wouldn't make 15 yeah, yeah. kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at the size of these bad boys. Of 
Ready, what's this look? Ready? You're gonna get down. How are you gonna do it? You're gonna keep down. 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 It's all that kind of here. And you're gonna do that every few seconds. Now that's the big piece. Sit. 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 Pull. Good girl. So what I want you to do is only start dropping those treats now if you're talking to me. How's it going, Steph? It's going. How are you? And here we have Steph, the master dog trainer. How's it going? <laughs> oh look, we've got a second mat, look. You two doing very well. Do you want to get on the other mats? I reckon, mate, we have the best behaved dogs here. Look at them, look. Can we take that? Look at that! Oh, 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 here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 really well behaved, Steph. He's like, look, he's drinking from his new mini bowl. Yeah, so while I have a sandwich, the lovely Georgina from Mini is looking after the pups. Are they being well behaved? They don't care, they are very well behaved. Oh, I think, look at that tail. Uh, the food's not for you. And then Steph's obviously doing some very important puppy training. <laughs> Get him on for the gram. So I may well have lost Darcy. To Georgina for Mini. I, I, have I lost her? He's gone. <laughs> I'm going to have to separate them. Sorry. Yeah. So we've now got to go outside and put a bit of practice. I'm absolutely loving the speck of that clubman, by the way. It's really very, very nice. So we've done a whole bunch of fun things inside with the dogs, just learning how to settle them and and talking actually about the Dogs Trust and the work that they do and the partnership that Mini has just started with the Dogs Trust. Uh, it was just really interesting, I guess, you know, COVID's had quite an impact on, uh, on dogs in general. I think there was lots of lockdown puppies bought. Um, people are now going back to work, so there's dogs at home with separation anxiety. There are people maybe who've lost their job and can't afford to keep them. And then the puppy trade, because the price of dogs has gone through the roof, that's kind of led to a lot of you know, people smuggling dogs into the country. So the, the, the Dogs Trust has a huge, huge amount of work to do. So I'll put the links below. I mean, it's a charity I support personally anyway, even though if I wasn't here, but they do some really important work. And I'm hoping that I might get to do a little bit more with them because today's been really interesting. But we're now back out with all the Clubmans. Um, spot the, look, none of these have got mud flaps apart from mine. Um, like flaps. Flap gate, <laughs> flap gate. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're going to basically put the dogs in the cars now. So right now we're meant to be practicing getting dogs to be more relaxed in the car and stopping them being stressed when they get in the car. And uh, yeah, I think my two are, they're quite chilled really. Yeah, they're, they're just sitting there, quite happy. <laughs> so so the, the idea behind that exercise was um, you know, especially the kind of lockdown puppies and stuff, they'd have spent a lot of their early uh, formative months not able to travel around and now all the restrictions have lifted, you know, dogs are getting in cars and they've never really travelled in cars before. And, you know, for us, our, our, our two dogs are just so used to travelling and it was like a prerequisite for them really to get on with our lives. We, we take our dogs everywhere. They stay in nice hotels. They literally come with us everywhere. And therefore being good in a car was, you know, one of the first things we nailed down. But I know plenty of people who have dogs that don't travel very well and it's really not a great, uh, a great thing. So that's kind of what this event's all about. And it's funny, you know, um, Hallie and Darcy literally just sat in the boot and watched everybody. So it's something that they do and they've nailed a long time ago. But we're going back inside to kind of finish the day off. But Dogs Trust is such a great charity. They do so much work both here and abroad. 
uh, and I hope to, uh, I've been talking to the guys to kind of do a little bit more to try and support them in their work because it's so important. There's a little rehomer over there having some exercise. Um, but yeah, that, that's a cracking spec, that Clubman. It's like an ivory white uh, with red trim. It's really lovely. Well, nearly time to get in the car. These two have been so well behaved, but is it time? I mean, you come on a press trip as a human influencer and you might get a pen or a bag. So the girls have got a little walking pouch with loads of goodies in there and the coolest thing, a mini dog bowl. <laughs> Look at this, this is cool. It's a mini dog bowl. These have only just been sold. You are the first people to have one of these or first puppies to have one. So I'm gonna go back inside, say goodbye to everybody and then we'll finish this video off on our way home. Cool, thank you. Goodbye, Dogs Trust. That was a lot of fun. So good to see my mate Steph again and also to catch up with the girls from Mini, Helen, Georgina. Thank you so much for the invite. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, and such a, a great charity and, and as I said in the video one I, I hope to kind of get a little bit more involved in um, but yeah really really good event the girls are very very tired they've been amazing today they're really well behaved anyway but um, I, I just think they they raised their game today and they even got a certificate of achievement look see look you got a certificate girls dog school and mini Travi Happel Ch Travi? Travel Happy Challenge. There you go. So unfortunately, this uh, this looks a bit rubbish. Coming out of here, I'm gonna have to go down there, do a Yui and come back again. But yes, so as the light fades, um, I'm gonna make tracks, head off home, and I'll see you on the next one. But huge thanks to uh, Dogs Trust. By the way, before I go, um, make sure you check out next year a new Goodwood event called Goodwoof. Oh yes. Yes, Goodwoof is basically a celebration of all things canine. Uh, Four-legged friends. Um, and it's being held at Goodwood uh, in the spring. I'll put all the details below. Tickets are currently on sale. Uh, I will be there with the pups. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you at Goodwoof and maybe we'll do a little bit more dog content. If you enjoyed that, by the way, just let me know. Um, and we'll 